take us to the sumo wrestler jump and tell us what kind of impact this had. I, I mean, it's in the headlines, so. Yeah, so dressage had Rave Horse. Uh, show jumping got a sumo wrestler. Um, this, or, this fence um, really proved um, a bit of a stiff challenge in qualifying. Um, not so much today in the final, especially after all the horses had already seen it, though it did appear again. Um, there's so much that you could talk about with this fence. Um, and I would love to chat with um, the course designer about it because every little piece has meaning and has a purpose. Um, you can see it a bit more clearly in the last picture, but there is the, what we call the jump filler. Um, and that was that small circular piece in the middle there. Uh, normally when you have jump filler, you'll see two or three of them that line up, you know, at the bottom of the fence. This was just one, so a very odd fitting piece not to mention you could see completely through it. So that draws the horse's eyes down immediately. Um, then of course, your horse is going to bounce off of that person that is really making up your right standard. I mean, it was so realistic um, that you think that there's someone really standing right there. Um, and you know, certainly coming off a bit of a, a sharper turn, um, you could get caught a little bit off guard. Um, I think the, the biggest piece of this are actually the rails. The rails, the way they're painted, they almost blend right into the backdrop. The horses can't judge the height as well. Um, and not to mention it was set at, um, I believe a meter 63. Um, the course spec was up to a meter 65. Um, and I believe that was set up to a meter 63 on qualifying day. So it was a massive, very careful vertical with a lot of pieces. It did come down a lot. A lot of horses did look at it. We did have one that said no at the last minute. Um, and it was very unique. Uh, the course designer was very creative. All the jumps kind of uh, fit or represented different motifs or cultural traditions um, in Tokyo and in Japan. Um, and boy, I mean, there it was a very visually, um, visually appealing course. There was a lot to look at. It was definitely visually stimulating. Do you think it was a bit much just in terms of, you know, the, our brave jumping horses are supposed to really be able to take on all the challenges. And, and that's part of the ask of the horses is that they, they jump everything um, bravely and, and boldly. And, but was this, it, but then also the, optimal goal of a or optimum goal of a course designer is not to necessarily scare them right <laughs> no absolutely not you know the mark of a good course designer they want to set something that's fair and safe for all but has the technical challenges that that make it not easy. Um, you know, and this course had that. These horses are the very best in the sport. They have seen so many crazy things throughout their travels across the world. The majority did jump this fence well, um, but when they see something new for the first time as something that drastically different, and of all the courses that I've seen, I have never seen anything like that. So it would take me and catch me off guard a little bit. Um, and I do know a few riders that, it, you know, in their training, um, they had a training day before individual qualifying that made a point to walk up to that fence to make sure their horse saw it before they were galloping toward it in qualifying for, you know, Olympic medals. Um, so it definitely was one that is a standout. Um, you know, it was it was just very different, um, but certainly fair, not, not against the rules. These horses have seen a lot and the majority jumped it without issue, um, but you won't forget it. Uh, no, and, and I'd say, I'd just throw in there, I'm a, an amateur and I don't see as many courses as you lay your eyes on, but I don't see human statues with little loincloths generally. <laughs> so I don't know. It's a little bit much. Um, it Did it really screw anyone up in qualifying who you noticed um, who maybe would have done better? I mean, it caused a few problems, right? Yeah, it certainly came down, but it was a meter 63. It was a very careful vertical. I think the rails had a lot to do that and not just the sumo wrestler. First off, my hat is off to the artist who made that. 
Um, there was another fence today that I believe was said to have taken a month to paint by hand. Um, so just incredible, um, you know, art, artisanal work there um, in designing and constructing these jumps. Um, so that was very, very impressive. Um, you know, I think I saw one horse really run out at it, a couple others kind of maybe backed off or, um, but there are so many things that you could attribute that to, not just um, this, this sumo wrestler, um, but it is, it again, it's what you notice most, that's for sure.